it's only by really going very far away from ourselves or looking at something outside of ourselves that we're better to, better to understand who we are as, as, as individuals, but also as a society or as a culture. Today I'm introducing the first commission with the Bagri Foundation, which is a new installation by an artist collective based in Berlin called Slavs and Tatars. And the installation behind me takes the shape of a very large samovar. Samovar by Slavs and Tatars is the first in a series of large installations and artworks that are going to be presented around the Hayward Gallery and South Bank Center over the seasons and years to come. And we're particularly interested in artists taking on the challenge of working both in public space and engaging with our historic architecture. Slavs and Tatars was um, founded in 2006. We look to a particular geography between the former Berlin Wall and the Great Wall of China as a means of exploring questions of identity, ritual, language. Samovar is a large-scale public sculpture that, that is a, an inflated samovar, which is a, a, an, an urn with a teapot on top. It's a traditional way of, of brewing and, uh, and seeping tea. The proper way to make tea is, of course, to have a concentrated sort of essence on top into which you add uh, boiling water um, and by no stretch of the imagination to ever use a tea bag which is sort of heresy for any real tea drinker. A samovar is a, is a Russian term um, and it literally means uh, a self-boiler. It's found across the Middle East, uh, Central Asia, the Caucasus uh, and, and Eastern Europe of course. Tea is a, is, a, is a great prism in the sense that it's a very simple medium through which you can kind of tell much more complex stories. Everything from the legacy of, of, of colonialism to race to, to resource extraction to certain cultural tradition, traditions, of course, can be told through an otherwise, let's say, unifying ritual or, or practice of, of brewing and drinking tea.